The second tournament during week two is the longest running tournament in Asia, the Rakuten Japan Open Tennis Championships in Tokyo, another 500 level event. American Jared Donaldson is determined to kickstart his swing, but he knows how competitive the game is right now. It's really great the place that tennis is in right now. I think you have a lot of uh, young up and coming players who are doing really well. Donaldson's attitude is one of his standout qualities, making him one of the hardest working of the next gen. Tennis, unless you win the tournament, you lose. So uh, it's definitely, there's a lot of uh, losses going on um, on tour life. What you want to do right after you lose is go back out into the practice court, go into the gym and keep working really hard because that just show it, those matches, those types of matches show you uh, what you need to be working on. And if you're not working on something, you're theoretically going backwards. So you just always got to make sure that you're doing the best you can in order to, to keep going forward. Playing qualifying in his first ever 500 event is 18-year-old South Korean Duck Hee Lee. Lee was born completely deaf, relying on vibrations and hand gestures to play the game. It's not held him back in his steady, impressive rise up the rankings. Coping with the spotlight that comes with being one of the sport's most precocious talents has always been a challenge for Nick Kyrgios. I've had a lot of success as a, as a young guy and um, obviously a lot of pressure is put on me and, and they expect a lot and you know as, as it should be like that. Um, you know I would have dealt with some things a little differently in the, in the past that I, that I, that I did um, but you know I feel like I'm learning and I'm maturing. That growing maturity was on show as Kyrgios destroyed his competition in Tokyo to close in on a third title of the year. David Goffin better watch out in the final. You know, in Chengdu, I wasn't wasn't so engaged. I guess it's just the way I feel mentally and, and the way I prepare. And if I'm engaged, I can I can do some good things. In the final, struggling to put his game together, Kyrgios lost the opening set, but he recovered with some spectacular play to become the second next-gen star to win a title on the Asian swing. Pretty, pretty overwhelmed at the moment. I'm um, really happy. I uh, obviously knew it was going to be tough. I just try and play big under pressure, you know, just play big, serve big, and that way you make, it helps me sleep better at night. If I find out, I just went after it, but, um, you know, it paid off today. Okay. The Asian Swing's final tournament is the Shanghai Rolex Masters the Swing Soul 1000 tournament, one of the biggest events on the ATP World Tour. The next gen in the mix must overcome the tour's elite to have a shot at the title. First time here in Shanghai, I've heard a lot of amazing things about it, so it was good to get on court here, practice, get acclimated, and uh, you know, I, I like it so far. I think the conditions here are a little bit faster, um, so that's obviously going to suit my game a little bit more. Um, I know that there's a lot of quality players here, you know, the best players in the world are here, so we'll see how it goes. Just going to get some dinner, uh, you know, hopefully see some, see some friends and uh, have a good meal for my match tomorrow. What they do here is really great. Um, interactions or events for the tournament, um, interactions with fans, you know, do an autograph signing, do a kids clinic, go to the players party, um, stuff like that. You get different amounts of points and your points stack up over the years and you can redeem them for, for rewards. So you can kind of get rewarded for giving your, your time to help the tournament and support the tournament. I'm going after the massage chair, it's 1,800 points. Uh, this player's party gave me a nice 400 points, and I already, 
I already, not the reason why I'm going. <laughs> this is perfect for me to kind of get rewarded for something I already like to do, I guess you'd say. I'm really just playing to, you know, be the best I can be. And uh, I think that's, that's uh, a good way for me to kind of keep away from the pressure and expectations coming in from all these other places. Struggling with the greater expectation and pressure of playing in such a huge event, many of the next gen suffered early losses. And for one player, the strain of the past few weeks' efforts in Asia got the best of him. In his second round match, something seemed to be troubling Nick Kyrgios. Appearing to fail to make his best efforts against Misha Zverev, Nick Kyrgios's conduct was brought into question. I think pressure is a big part of our game. I think the top guys are dealing with pressure week in and week out. You know, everybody tries to beat them. Those are the ones to beat. But you know, obviously, the the higher ranking gets, the the better you start playing, and also the the more other people are looking out for you. You know, the top guys are looking out for you. They're trying to really uh, study your game more and uh, really try to do everything to to win against you. But you know, it's it's just something that I have to learn and something that every player has to deal with. Embracing the pressure in Shanghai, Alexander Zverev beat John Isner and Marin Cilic before a showdown with Frenchman Joe Wilfred Songa. I've been playing great uh, after the US Open the whole, the whole season so far. I think it just shows that I also improved a, l a lot, and, uh, you know, but I gotta keep going, I can't stop now. <laughs> really think that, that in tennis, everybody should show emotions. You know, it shows the spectator that you really care and you really love the sport and really try your best to do, uh, to do everything to win. There's no denying there is a new generation of players determined to take over at the top of the game. They're winning titles, beating the best and hungry for more. You've put in all the hours off the court, all the training sessions, all the gym sessions, it's for reasons like this, so you have that durability when you keep playing matches that you can keep going. And I don't like to set where I think I should be or what I think I should do. I just go in every tournament trying to do the best I can and uh, trying to go as deep as I possibly can. We encourage each other to play better. I think our generation is coming through and coming up and uh, it just gives more maybe motivation. It's going to be in a very exciting end of the year and also a very exciting 2017 for us. 2017 will see the tour's best young stars battle for the chance to compete at the first ever end of year next gen ATP finals in Milan. We've got this emergence of new talent, huge new talent from a geographically diverse spread who are coming together and we need to tell their story. So we thought let's do an event where we can put them on a stage, a piece of theatre where you know, they will earn ranking points from January all the way through the year, so like a race to Milan. This is about launching the birth of the next generation of stars. Only the top eight can qualify. The battle begins in January.